Well, I'm still getting a bit of work on and off, but the wind's blowing that hard outside, the rain's coming down sideways. So I dipped into the hard drive and pulled out another piece of vintage Hunter's Vermin. This is from back in 2010, and any of you who have watched my first Corvid KS DVD will probably recognise this place, as I used the exact same spot and the exact same technique in one of the hunts in it. Basically I've taken a dead magpie and set it up in a wire cradle to look like a decoy and I'm using some pieces of white bread for bait. So we'll sit back and see how things go on. Now you'll see in a second that I don't really have any hide. I haven't even, even any camouflage netting with me. I'm just depending on the shadows here, hiding behind this wee digger, and using it to rest the rifle on. And it's not long before a bird appears. He's sitting at just under 25 yards. And I drove it with a headshot. It's quite a foggy morning and the rest of the birds don't appear for a while, so I'll go out, pick up the dead bird and set it out in front of the decoy I have, hoping this will irritate the rest of the birds into responding. It basically makes it look as if the two birds are fighting. And before long I get a, a bird down about 20 yards away. He's curious, but he's moving about quite a bit. But I get my shot. Then a third bird arrives. and sits nice and pretty for the shot. You'll probably have noticed that the farmyard's quite mucky at the minute. As far as I remember we had a lot of snow that year which when it melted off turned into a real mucky mess with the heavy machinery. Now I haven't noticed this magpie yet as I was looking over my shoulder at where the cattle are fed. But I've spotted him now and get the camera zoomed into him. Get the rifle ready for the shot. and drop the fourth bird for the morning. Oh, there's one. There's two. That's the one I set out shot earlier and set out for a decoy. And there's the other two there. Not a bad morning's work. There's another four away. Or a bit of bread for bait. <laughs> 